And the war in Ukraine is dominating discussions at this year's G7, with member states promising more support for Kyiv and tougher measures against Moscow. Our Song Yujin reports. The war in Ukraine was a key topic during the first day of the G7 summit in Hiroshima. Member states released a statement reaffirming their unwavering support for Ukraine and their commitment to opposing Russia's aggression. The bloc pledged to continue providing financial, humanitarian, military and diplomatic support to Kyiv for as long as necessary. This will include budget support, recovery efforts and the restoration of critical infrastructure through trade and investment. Additionally, the G7 nations will strengthen sanctions on Russia, restricting the export of items essential to its war machines, such as industrial machinery and tools. This is to, quote, starve Russia of G7 technology, industrial equipment and services. The joint statement also urges third parties to immediately cease supplying Russia with weapons with severe consequences if they do not comply. China and Iran are among the countries suspected of doing so. And the G7 will build upon existing measures to limit Russia's energy revenue, including export bans and price caps, to prevent Russia from weaponizing energy against the international community. At last year's G7 summit in Schlossel Mao, Germany, member states agreed to launch a price cap on Russian crude oil and petroleum products. Additional restrictions include curbing Russia's use of the international finance system and limiting trade and the use of diamonds sourced. These measures aim to achieve comprehensive and lasting peace in Ukraine as soon as possible. Song Yujin, Arirang News.